Folks, hello and a welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor of the Tenkar Tavern blog. So, there's an advertisement on the bottom of the screen. Sorry, an affiliate link. It will take you to Tenkar Stairs Tavern.game slash DCC. It's a DCC and MCC bundle over at Humble Bundle. This is how you can support this channel. I know that YouTube throws ads up. Those ads generate two, three, maybe four dollars a day for this channel. But the affiliate links are where you can buy something for yourself that you will enjoy, get use out of, and you support this channel. Keeps my co-host and myself with fresh new equipment, new software, keeps this channel looking spiffy and fresh, and it means that we don't have to do sponsorships. We don't have to do paid advertising. We can be honest. So, what do I have up on the screen right now? Neon Lords of the Toxic Wasteland Total Carnage Edition. Now, why am I showing this? Well, yesterday I did a review of sorts. All right? I, I, I looked at those pesky orcs. And that's a game that's supposed to, like, shock you, right? And be in your face and have attitude. Well, and, oh, oh and, it's, and it's based on a, a classic rule set, right? This is more BX. That's on the screen now. That was AD&D 1A. But it was going for a certain attitude. What you see here is a successful showing of that attitude. Now also important to note that the author of Neon Lords of the Toxic Wasteland will be our special guest this Wednesday night at 8 p.m. But I thought it was going to be telling me, I'm not, by the way, folks, anybody at home is like, oh, I'm going to get a free look at the game. I'm not going to scroll through the whole game, but I'm going to scroll through enough to show you what I'm talking about, especially when it comes to presentation and attitude. So, the artwork and by the way, the artwork in those pesky goblins in the first half of the book was not bad at all. It's when you get to the second part, when you get to the adventure, which I will review later, and you get to this, I don't know, computer-generated art. I, I Leaves me wordless, speechless. But this art has attitude, and it reflects the game. It reflects the attitude of of the game and mutants and mullets what more do you want right oh and it tells you this game was rated pg-13 now why is it rated pg-13 it's rated pg-13 because there is stuff that i i, I get i guess it's an adult i should call juvenile humor i enjoy it i think it's well done but maybe inappropriate for younger players all right. Uh, by the way, I also love the fact that the Super Savage Systems 16-bit rad RPGs is a great takeoff of that old Sega Genesis logo. Just occurred to me right now. Don't know where my brain was before when I was looking at it. So, look, look at, at the layout here, by the way, right? The layout is, is crisp. The artwork is... Spot on. The table of contents, which, by the way, is hyperlinked. And it has, yes, it has different fonts. It's supposed to. That's the attitude here. This isn't a, um, I don't know, like you'll see in the adventure in the back of uh, those pesky orcs where somebody can't keep the font, you know, steady and think, oh, i uh, I pasted this in from a different source. I guess the font has to change. This is done with attitude and with reason. There, there is there's a reason why the font's changing, right? You can see it. It's talking about different stuff. But introduction, uh, and, and, and admittedly, hey, we looked at yesterday. It has an introduction. This is great. Tells you what the game is about. Look at this layout, though. Look at how how precise and yet freeform it feels. 
this looks like a very easy to read game. By the way, the font size is a good font size. I know I'm reading the PDF on my screen. I could have pulled out the hardcover, but then I couldn't show it to you as nicely, and that wouldn't work as well. Uh, explains certain terms very well, but again, look at that. I look at the layout to yesterday's product, and I look at the layout for here, and it's night and day. Look at the artwork here. And by the way, the artwork should make you think about some classic movie scenes. I'm not going to mention the movie scene that I'm looking at here, but I can I, I'm, I, I am picturing it very well. They've got some really good charts here, which to some extent you could take or reinvent um, for similar RPGs. Again, random random things that makes your character different aside from just the attributes you've rolled. Hey, those pesky orcs have that too. But these charts are, are readable. They're not all crammed together. Like I said, the charts in those pesky orcs should have probably been two pages per chart. Would have been easier to read. I don't know why it was all being shoved in. Again, that's a layout issue. Whoever did the layout for this, okay, Neon Lords, um, knows layout. They treat it like it's an artistic endeavor as opposed to a chore, okay? That is a difference. So when you're looking at this, every page is is hitting you with you can find what you need quickly and at the same time it's imparting game knowledge, game facts, everything is readable and it's entertaining to the eyes. Your eyes don't just gloss over because it's a wall of text. This is somebody who really understands layout. And understands RPGs. This is how you get people sucked into your game. All right? You can have attitude, but your attitude has to go along with your presentation. So, um, again, I don't want to give anything away, and we'll probably do a full review of the game rules themselves, but if you're, if you're used to BX, it should feel familiar, except for the fact that this Mutants with Mullets and oozes, as you're looking at the screen right now, with attitude. That's what you want out of a game like this. That's what I would have wanted out of those pesky orcs. And, and sadly, we didn't get it. You get it here. You get it here. So, like I said, we are going to have somebody with us. Brian Shutter who, as it says, did the words. Brian's going to be our guest 8 p.m. Saturday on Talking Crit. I'm looking forward to it. It should be a lot of fun. We're going to be discussing, you can see it on the screen, Neon Lords of the Toxic Wasteland. We got to meet, actually, at uh, Tobacon. It was really cool. But this is a game that... Uzi's attitude, not just in its writing, but in its presentation. And I think those two working together is what makes it really special. All right, folks, on that note, be safe, be well, God bless. Roll those dice, roll them well. Back again tomorrow with another video. Wednesday with a live stream at 8 p.m. If you like Neon Lords of the uh, Toxic Wasteland or you want to know more about this game or other products that Brian's going to have, join us on Wednesday. And by the way, it's an affiliate link on the bottom of the screen. If you use it, I appreciate it. Like, subscribe, comment. Laters.